Welcome, Eagles, to Trad Cat Night, your one-stop website for all of the day's latest church apostasy and end-time news. This is your number one ranked traditional Catholic outlet specializing in the real third secret of Fatima. Trad Cat Night is featured all over the alternative media circuit and has the most listened to and most influential podcast radio show available within the Catholic world. Trad Cat Night's guest list is second to none. Search Trad Cat Night across any major social media outlet for daily information and visit tradcatnight.org, the fastest growing end times community available in the market. So what's it going to be, Eagles? Fear or faith? Flight or fright? Join me as we head deep into the darkest night. Welcome, my good friends, to another edition of Trad Cat Night Breaking News right here on the tradcatnight.org website. Folks, today is November the 29th, 2019, and I hope you all had a very wonderful and blessed Thanksgiving as we continue to roll along here at tradcatnight.org, your one-stop shop for all the day's latest church apostasy and end time news. Now folks, gotta get you all caught up to speed as to what has been happening here at Trancat Night. Uh, of course, on a regular basis, 25 to 50 articles going up on a regular. So oftentimes you see in the traditional world for most of the websites, uh, you know, perhaps an article going up here or there every other day. Uh, and even places like LifeSite News who may, uh, you know, every third or fourth day uh, stop posting articles or whatnot. In relation to these other websites, Trancat Night is getting out an abundance more information than these other websites. And on top of this, folks, as I've been saying since day one, the things I've been warning about for years, the quasi or semi-traditionalists, aka false traditionalists, are only now arriving at the same conclusions that I had so many years ago. And as you know, I was the first to come out and tell you all that Pope Benedict XVI was the true Pope, and then we had the likes of Cardinal Pell uh, slightly indicating that, Sochi, of course. Now we have Barnhart, Louis Varecchio, Father Kramer. You're going to want to get to trancatnight.org to stay ahead of the storm. With the eyes of an eagle, he has the ability to see things that others cannot and can see above the horizon and is able to help warn as to what is coming. Now, in addition to everything that's going on with Trad Cat Night, uh, I have started to seriously look in, looking into uh, the acquiring of land out here in the Ohio Valley area for our Eagle's Nest community, these end time safe havens that so many mystics talk about. And so I encourage you all to get plugged into my information so you can get further details on that. I've been discussing this quite a bit. Uh, as it relates to some of my latest information, folks, I'm going to be doing a a solo premium podcast later tonight getting through some of my latest articles uh, but some of the recent ones have been five leadership qualities of an eagle and as you know an eagle is the model for our times because it's only going to be those uh, with the wings of faith and hope who are going to transcend these times another article that I put out most supposed traditionalists are heretics unfortunately all the false right websites who now adopt conciliarism who adopt salsa and cisco's uh, outdated uh, opinions if you will which are no longer applicable since vatican one as father kramer has pointed out definitively in his new 700 page plus book to deceive the elect and it's very very sad that the likes of uh, you know the one peter five types the life site news the remnant uh you know them all catholic family news fatima center they all now, unfortunately, are heretical due to Salza and Cisco resurrecting uh, these opinions, which no longer are applicable. Uh, we cover this quite readily uh, at Tran Cat Night. And as you know, I bring on Father Kramer. I got some good news here uh, with Father Kramer here shortly. Um, and my other article, The Antichrist will take Rome and Rome will perish. And Sister Gianna the Nativity forewarned of Benedict XVI's martyrdom. Of course, we've got a consensus of Catholic prophecy indicating that a Pope would flee Rome and be killed. Sister Gianna of the Nativity uh, has some very interesting comments, in my humble opinion, on the matter. So you're not going to want to miss uh, that article as well. Now, uh, as to some of the guests who've been on Trancat Night in recent times since my last uh, promo here on YouTube. 
Uh, we have had on the show Jordan Smith, who's a Catholic prepper from the American Preppers Broadcasting Network. She is also creating a safe haven uh, down in Mississippi. She was on the program. I've had Xavier Arail on the program. He picked back up with Marie Julie Jahenny. I've also had on Gary Wayne. We continued on with our conversation uh, as it relates to these end times and the potentiality of the Giants returning, uh, which is quite interesting considering uh, these Talmudists are indicating that before the Antichrist does show that the Giants would return. Uh, I've also had on the show Robert Sungenis. Had another great podcast with him. We talked fake sister Lucy. Uh, we gave uh, some updated information on geocentrism. Uh, I have also had on the show Dr. James Fetzer, Marshall Masters, Mark Dankoff. Today had on Richie Allen. Great podcast this morning. And tomorrow is going to be a blockbuster. Listen to this lineup tomorrow. Dr. Peter Hornowski joins me. We'll pick back up the whole fake Sister Lucy situation. I got Paul Stark from the Vatican Deception film. Also have on Terrell Blackstar. Uh, now, some things that will change up or will be in addition to uh, in 2020. Uh, again, uh, with your $20 contribution uh, to uh, Trad Cat Night for the month, that works out to be $5 a month, folks. Again, it's going to be information that is not seen truly. Uh, on any other website because I'm going to handle all those quote-unquote conspiratorial topics and why and paint a very vibrant picture as to why the Antichrist is about to show up onto the scene but some of the new uh, endeavors that we're going to be uptaking in 2020 in addition to everything that I've already started uh, at Tradcat Nights we want to do some video debates so we're bringing on some of my uh, guests from times past and uh, picking uh, various topics and uh, doing video interview debates, which I think will be very interesting. We'll probably do a format of uh, an hour or so. Uh, I think that'd be a fair amount of time. I don't think 30 minutes would, would quite be enough. Uh, I also have Father Kramer's commitment to do more regular podcasts. I would dare say weekly podcasts, wherein probably like every Friday or Saturday, we'll do wrap-up shows discussing all the latest happening in the Conciliar Church and, of course, continuing on our topic as to why a heretic pope cannot be a true pope uh, i'll even be doing more regular personal articles I, I have the commitment of doing about four to five a week i want to get more into the seven to ten range uh so i can continue to expose all the various areas that i do uh so i have that commitment down that intention we're going to resume with the live chats here on youtube i'm going to be producing more and more documentaries and movies in this upcoming year my next one is going to be working off of father kramer's book to deceive the elect uh, those of you who missed my Marie Julie Jahenny movie, you can find it over on Vimeo. Just go to Vimeo.com, put in Marie Julie Jahenny, and I'm sure it's probably the first thing that pops up. I've all, I also will be adding more and more resource pages into the mix. So folks, I hope you all go to your browser now, type in tradcatnight.org, join us. Again, you will stay ahead of the storm. All those who've been following my work uh, from day one, as a matter of fact, that was the one thing that Richie Allen expressed uh, on my podcast today. Uh, he was a Catholic now, uh, up until recent times, was an atheist, but he expressed on our podcast today, on my podcast today, that as a result of this work at Tradcat Night, he is now an agnostic. So from our perspective, of course, he's moving in the right direction. And uh, because the things I was warning uh, about on his show, uh, he came out and openly said, you were right all along. And this is uh, the truth of the matter. So We've only just begun with the, the early stages of the beginning of paganism in Rome. It's going to get far worse. As you know, if you've been following my work, I've got a whole podcast series on the Antichrist, on the false prophet. And no, uh, anti-Pope Francis is not the biblical false prophet. I've covered this uh, at length at Triad Cat Night. But in any case, we want to see more and more people join uh, our community, if you will, uh, to stay behind the paywall as well. Helps to protect me against censorship. Uh, and there's a wide variety of reasons why. Uh, we are behind a paywall, and I would put uh, the censorship aspect nearly up at the top. Those who truly want to be with our work will obviously uh, support my work uh, full-time and uh, get behind that paywall to get the information. But again, it protects us from the outside world and trolls and detractors or whatnot, but it also helps uh, along the lines of censorship. I would dare argue if I wasn't behind a paywall at this point, we would simply be another censorship uh, casualty because I'm going to again I'm going to discuss things that the pseudo trads do not want to talk about many of them are Zionist heretics uh, to begin with uh, they don't 
cover the New World Order as extensively uh, as daily as I do on the podcast. And, and again, I'm podcasting Monday through Saturday, folks. Uh, my goodness, it's hard to keep up even with my schedule. I'm already pre-booked already uh, through December, uh, by the way, for the podcast. And uh, again, numerous resource pages uh, with the church about to go underground. This is going to be the place you're going to want to be for the days ahead. You'll have access to my podcast archive, which dates back to 2015. And again, uh, come join us Eagles, folks. You can cancel at any time. Hope to see some new faces. You'll see the direct link as to where to uh, join us in the description box of this YouTube video. So simply move your mouse, your cursor uh, below the video screen here itself and get into that description box. And you'll see that first link where it says uh, access to the website. And I do hope to see some new faces, folks. Until next time, stay safe. God bless. Ave Maria.